Welcome to OSM Operation Safe Mode. We know that Safe Mode was a reminder of what our computers do to protect its operating system when something has gone wrong. Safe Mode allows us to continue until we can reboot back to full strength. So Operation Safe Mode, in essence, is coming closer to the end than the beginning. Perhaps maybe we'll rename it OSM Operation Salvation Mode as we continue when we return completely to normal. I've been thinking about that new normal that everyone wants to speak of. And I think when we use the word new normal, we're admitting that we're going to have some re-entry phobias to overcome. We've been told to protect ourselves and to protect one another, which was an awesome way to work through a pandemic. But protecting one another and staying away from them is not how God has created us. He created us to be in relationship with one another. And those relationships are going to be difficult as we move forward because subconsciously for many, there's still an underlying fear. We want to overcome that. I've been praying for that so bad. In fact, as you know, I dedicated my whole time of consecration to St. Joseph, become holy through St. Joseph, as a way to prepare to encourage you to come back, one step at a time. So when I was thinking about and praying for the return to our normal, some songs came to mind, songs that really called to us to come out of ourselves into a trusting walk with the Lord. How important it is for us to realize that trust walks with Jesus have to call us away from our fear. And sometimes these re-entry phobias are certainly real, but not something that we can't overcome in the Lord. So the song that I thought really spoke most perfectly to being away and returning to the Lord is the song called Hosea. The song challenges us to return to his presence and to share in his walk of life. So we have this tribute to those who are preparing to return, for, for those who have been longing to come back to the normal of our Lord's life in and through his church.
How beautiful it is to think of Jesus calling us back to him. He desires to have all of our heart. The song reminds us too that even when we walk with the Lord, we must be able to allow ourselves to trust in him fully. I came across a term that I thought was interesting. Many of us as Christians have heard being born again being born-again Christians, in, in essence, finding our new meaning and being that for which dedicates a life to Christ himself. The term that I heard most recently was born-again Catholic. I like that term because that really is what we're asking ourselves to do, to be recreated as Catholics again, to get up and come as community to pray, to celebrate the sacraments. As a Catholic, we know Eucharist is the pinnacle and the true summit of our faith journey. To be reborn Catholic means for us to rededicate ourselves to the traditions and the devotions. And many of those things need to happen as a community. So I challenge you, as well as myself, to continue to be reborn as Catholics. Rediscover what we have missed. I think some of the pictures that you saw in the video will help you know how much your heart is longing for that. I can't imagine what it will be like the first time you receive Jesus again in the Holy Eucharist. I think it will be a moment, an awe-inspiring one, that will allow you to know that no matter what fear we have, what anxieties we might suffer, they come to rest in Christ himself. So Operation Safe Mode, we want to continue to be safe in the Lord. And we can only do that as a faith-filled community celebrating a sacramental life in prayer and praise of the Lord.